coming in so strong with seven of my favorite drugstore concealers plus one honorable mention. Let's get into the video so that you can see what works on my dry mature skin. Hi girlfriends, thank you so much for stopping by. We're gonna get into that video in just a second all about drugstore concealers and which ones I think are the best. But we're gonna do a little fashion show, which I do in every single video. So if you're new here, it might seem a little weird, but my subscribers love this. And so we do it together and we have all kinds of fun. But I'll put a timestamp right here where if you're just interested in the concealer, skip ahead and this is where I talk about the concealer to this timestamp right here. Also, we have a numbering system. It's really easy. Whatever products on the screen will be assigned a number that comes up next to it one through however many and you can go down into the description box and shop that way there will be all the information along with the links all right let's see what i've got on okay let's start out with this really pretty crocheted sweater that i have on it's kind of a blush pink and you can see through it so i put on a white tank top underneath here i love the sleeves on it they're a little bit of a bell sleeve but the crochet detail in this is so pretty especially when you get to have a little accent where you can pull it up in the middle and kind of give an illusion towards the hips and the waist i just thought that was so cute and then i just paired it with some of my favorite jeans these are from Levi's. I think they're called Signature or something, but they're super stretchy and they're great. They are skinny jeans. Like I said, I'm gonna wear skinny jeans till I die because it don't look that great in any other jeans. <laughs> so it does have the pockets all the way around on it. So it's a true jean and I really love them. And then I paired them with just a gold sandal. They're so cute. And I will show you those up close, but I put this outfit together and I hope that you do like it. So let me know in the comment section what you think about it. I'm going to start out with two of the concealers that will work for oily skinned gals. So this is a conceit, these are concealers for the normal to oily skin, not necessarily dry skin, but I can wear them um, during the summer when I get, you know, really sweaty. And a lot of you have humidity 24 seven, no matter what you do, you live in a climate that has a lot of humidity. So these might be really good for you. I wanna start off by telling you about the Catrice Liquid Camouflage high coverage concealer this has been around for a really long time and people used to lose their noodle over this they said that it was a dupe for the tart tape shape and shape tape tape shape shape tape and it is definitely a dupe for that it has high coverage it is a drier formula it sets down very easily and i find you know because i do have so many creases i no matter what have to put a tiny bit of powder on there just to set it down but i bet if you're somebody that has dry skin and you've been looking for something you don't have to set down at all this might be really good for you but if you are combo to oily this is going to be a great concealer for you it covers it doesn't crease easily but it's a smooth concealer and it says right here that it lasts up to 12 hours the next one that i feel like is one that is a lot like tart shape tape also is from nyx and it's the can't stop won't stop and this one let me see what it says get the spectacles it says <laughs> concealer corrector I feel like this one is very easily worn by somebody that has more dry skin. I got a rogue hair going on here, girls. Woo! That was driving me crazy. Now, this one, I will tell you that all of the shades, I thought I was getting a much darker shade. All of the shades run extremely light. And I wish that wasn't the case because I wanted a shade that was darker for the summertime. And this one just... It was not a shade that was dark at all. It's even lighter than what I would normally wear. But great concealer for coverage. I have to have high coverage. I just, it's what I have to do. Some people don't, uh, but I'll tell you that if you wanna try one of these, even though they all are high coverage and they're very smooth, just use a dot and then, you know, take your finger, warm it up and go in and blend it out. You don't need to do that much. You can do a little bit, but the Catrice and then this one from NYX, both of these I feel would be really good for my combo oily skin gals. If you're a normal skin, you're going to love this in the summer. These are really great. One of the ones that I've had forever is the hydrating camouflage concealer from e.l.f. 
Um, it's hydrating camel concealer. That's better. This is in light peach again This is a tiny bit light for me right now But this is a good color because it does have a little bit more peach in it Actually, it doesn't look like it's more peach than that one that I laid down But that one that just dried down is right there I love that it has a little bit bigger of a doe foot applicator because I don't want to have to take 10 hours to put this on I just want to swipe and go pretty quick. I love that this is hydrating because even in the winter when it's super dry and I get really dry underneath my under eyes, I find that this one is pretty on me. Coverage is fantastic. If you need to do a little bit extra after your first coat, it's not going to look cakey. And I really have loved this one for a long time. It's been out for probably five years and I've been using it ever since then. It's a great one at the drugstore, Elf Camo Hydrating Concealer. Now a couple that did surprise me are two from ColourPop. And at first, when I first tried both of these, they didn't work that great. But I had discovered this year a little bit of a different way to put on concealer for a more mature woman. And I'll make sure I link that video below. It just seems to work so well for me. And so many people are like, oh my gosh, you can't do that. But it just works really good for me. So this works really good now that I've done that. This is the No Filter Concealer from ColourPop. Now this one was actually brought out to be more like the Tarte Shape Tape, but I don't feel like it really is. It's not one that feels like it's super thick or like it's really a heavy one as a matter of fact those other two that i just tried this one feels almost more serum like it's thinner but the coverage on it is fantastic and that's what i like about it if you see me without any makeup on i'm telling you i need coverage dark dark circles and i don't know whether that's allergies inherited or i just don't get enough sleep whatever it is i've been blessed with them so i have to have something that covers but it needs to be smooth because i do have a lot of wrinkles under my eyes and i do have a lot of expression in my eyes throughout the day that could easily crease now again i use a little bit powder to try and keep things from creasing so i think that this one is really great and i think if you're somebody that is more along the lines of dry to normal to combo this one might work really well for you the other one from ColourPop is the pretty fat pretty fresh hyaluronic acid one this is so nice i glommed onto this when i first got it it's just really pretty this one when you put it on like i'm wiping it on there right now the other one from ColourPop, the no filter one was thinner in consistency so if you like a thinner consistency but you still like the coverage you might like that other one the misnomer for me is that when they put hyaluronic acid in any product it's not necessarily super hydrating because hyaluronic acid is a sodium base so it can be dry at times it depends on the hyaluronic acid itself there is so many types of hyaluronic acid so if they've used sodium hyaluronate that that has a tendency to dry out a little bit more but this one again it works for me really well in the summertime and I don't feel like I need to really set it down heavy with powder it's just a really good one that gives great coverage and a lot of smoothness underneath my eyes the one that I tout as probably one of the best ones no matter whether you're dry clear to oily is the 18 hour hydrating true skin high coverage concealer from catrice this is a fantastic concealer that i have had so many people come back and say oh my goodness this acts like my estee lauder or my lancome or my bobby brown or whatever they love or tart or whatever they love and it outperforms them at times i love this i reach for this over and over and over again but this is such a good one as far as just being the everyday concealer if you just need to spot conceal or if you need to just do your under eyes this is going to blend out it's going to look natural it's just a beautiful concealer and on me because i do use that teeny tiny bit of powder it doesn't crease and that's really important no, no settling into fine lines unless you don't use powder and you don't have to necessarily use powder on your concealer you can go ahead and spray your beauty sponge with some setting spray and then dab it very lightly underneath your eyes and that's going to set your concealer as well I just find that using a little bit of powder and blurring out, you know, all of the imperfections and then going in with that setting spray 
works so well. And you'd see that in that video if you go take a look at it. All right, number seven is the one that I use all the time no matter whether it's hot or whether it's cold and i've got the heat on inside and it's dry this is the uh irl filter finish soft matte concealer from makeup revolution i didn't know if i was gonna like this when i first tried it i was really skeptical about it it took me a few times and then i realized that you just need a very very thin coat this is a thinner product so i think i was using too much I do still all, go all the way under my eyes and paint that up, but I use a very thin coat of it. So nice. I really like this one. It covers very well and you can do a second coat on top of your first coat and it's not going to end up look, looking cakey. That's why I really love this one. I think it's one that just about everybody that I have heard do a review on it on YouTube, they like it. But you know, you have to look for yourself. This can be returned in the States if you don't like it. Actually, any of these can be returned if you're in the States and you don't like them. But I really do love all seven of these they are such good ones now i'm going to give an honorable mention to the maybelline eraser instant eraser and the reason i don't put this in my favorites is because this doesn't necessarily work for me because it doesn't give enough coverage now i can do my trick of putting a lot on and letting it sit down but throughout the day it's still not going to give me the coverage that i really want to have underneath my eyes because i have such dang dark circles they're so bad but this is people's ride or die this is great for me to spot conceal all over my face it works really good i know that a lot of people really hate this sponge applicator right here there are people that just take that off and they just use it like a regular one and use their fingers i think that it really has a great consistency and so many women love it and i had to put it in here because i knew somebody was going to go wait a minute so i do like it it just can't give me exactly the amount of coverage that I need and I can wear it in a pinch but it's the other ones that I do reach for on the daily so thank you so much for being here with me today and tell me please what you have for concealer that you absolutely love I want to know that for sure so that I can try them out I do have a bunch of high-end concealers that I use as well I have a drawer full of concealers that I really like but I wanted to pick the very best at the drugstore for you if you'd like me to do the higher end ones let me know down below as well i hope you're all doing really well and hanging in there i know that things are kind of hard right now but i love it when we get together and we get to talk in the comments it just makes my day so thank you guys for being with me and come back around really soon to my next video i love your bunches take care bye bye